Gender identity and gender expression can be really, really confusing. It can be really difficult to try and figure out where you fit into those two things. And I know that even I have had some real problems in the past with kind of understanding both my identity and my expression. So gender identity is quite simply the gender that you feel you identify with best. It's about how you feel on the inside. And for a lot of people out there, that doesn't always match the gender or sex that you were assigned at birth. You can identify as male or female or non-binary or loads of other genders, and that's about how you feel on the inside, but that doesn't necessarily always affect how you express yourself on the outside. Gender expression is all about how we choose to express ourselves. It's how we choose to show ourselves to the world, whether that's the way that we do our hair or our makeup or the clothes that we choose to wear. It's all about what you can see on the outside. Now, a lot of the confusion about these two things is that people often assume that they have to match up. But that's not necessarily the case. If you identify as male, that doesn't necessarily mean that you would express yourself in a way that is considered to be male or masculine. It would be fine, for example, for somebody to identify as a man and for that person to then wear a dress. The fact that they're wearing a dress doesn't make them any less of a man, it doesn't make them female, it doesn't make them non-binary, it doesn't make them any other gender than the one that they choose to identify as. I see a lot of confusion about this online and in the real world. When somebody's gender identity doesn't necessarily match their expression, people are often confused by this, and sometimes people even meet it with hostility. I know a lot of people, for instance, who identify as male or female, but the way that they choose to express themselves is a little bit more androgynous. And because of this, there's often an assumption that they're non-binary. And this goes the other way as well. I have non-binary friends who choose to express themselves in a way that is traditionally seen as male or traditionally seen as female. And they often get a lot of criticism from people saying that they aren't really non-binary because they don't express themselves in that way. And this is, I think, the root of a lot of the intolerance that's out there, particularly when it comes to gender. There's a lot of misunderstanding, and I think that's why education is so important. When it comes to my own gender identity, even I had some troubles about figuring out who I was. So I've always had an issue with clothes that I consider to be kind of hyper-masculine. So I'm talking about things like suits and formal wear. Anything that kind of is the epitome of traditional societal masculinity, anything that looks like that, I feel really, really uncomfortable wearing it. When I was younger, I kind of attributed this to age and thought it was something that I would grow into and something that I would learn to love. But now at 28 years old, I still feel that deep discomfort every time that I know that I have to put on a suit. I also see the difference between myself and some of my friends. When they get to put on a suit, they feel so attractive, they feel so masculine, they, see, they feel so confident and ready to put themselves out there into the world. And I know that I kind of feel the opposite to that. When I know that I have to put on a suit, I feel like I very much go into myself. I feel very nervous and uncomfortable. And honestly, I feel the opposite of masculine. It's kind of hard for me to explain, but putting on a suit kind of makes me feel feminine. It makes me feel small. It makes me feel uncomfortable. And that doesn't match who I feel that I am. So I feel really, really uncomfortable kind of putting on these gendered items of clothing. And that's not to say that I don't like dressing like a man. I absolutely do. It's just that I want the clothes that I wear to express who I am as a man and not what society expects me to be as a man. In the past couple of years, I've slowly started to try and break free of this idea of what it means to be a man. And for me, it's very, very much been baby steps. I remember going and buying a girl's jacket for the first time in my life, like just over a year ago. And I also remember that when I brought it to the counter, the person there said to me, oh, you do realise that this is a girl's jacket. And I think it's little things like that that make it so difficult for us to express ourselves in the way that we want to. In the past year, I have started to wear a lot more clothes that make me feel comfortable. I have started shopping more in the women's section. I've started wearing a lot more mesh. I've started wearing a lot more girls' crop tops. And the strange thing about doing this and expressing myself in the way that I want to is that when I put on a girl's crop top, for instance, I feel more masculine than I have ever felt 
in my entire life. And to be honest, I think it's kind of hard to kind of define masculinity and define femininity because at the end of the day, they are just societal constructs that don't actually mean anything. Gender expression is something that is entirely dictated by society. It's society that decides that dresses are for women and trousers or jeans or whatever it is are for men. It's society that decides and dictates that. The reason I want to make this video is not because I feel that I have all the answers and that I know everything about gender. I absolutely don't. The reason I want to make this video is to talk about how complicated gender can be. I think there's this kind of idea that it's very simple and it's very black and white and if you don't understand it you're intolerant and that's that's not the case. Gender is very complicated and it's very confusing and I surround myself with a wonderful array of LGBT plus people of all different genders and even I still struggle to get my head around it. So I wanted to make this video today to say that I'm still figuring out this too and I'm still taking baby steps towards figuring out how I really, really want to express myself. And it's difficult to do that when society is telling you that you have to do it this way, even though you feel like you want to do it another way. I really want to make more videos about gender because as a cisgender man, I've kind of always thought that conversations around gender don't apply to me, but they, they absolutely do because gender is this all-encompassing thing that kind of affects all of us in one way or another. And I think the only way that we can educate ourselves is to have more conversations like this one. I also want to thank the lovely people at eBay for encouraging me to have this conversation with you. They reached out to me for Pride Month and said that they wanted to work together, but that they really wanted me to talk about an LGBT plus issue that really, really mattered to me. I'm wearing some of their Pride themed merch today, which is raising money for the Albert Kennedy Trust, who are this absolutely incredible charity who are fighting LGBT plus homelessness and just doing so many incredible things. So 100% of the proceeds of this merch, there's t-shirts and pins and all sorts, all of the proceeds are going to support them. So it's an amazing, absolutely amazing cause and I'm so happy to partner with them. I'm gonna be putting links to where you can get some of this merch down in the description below, so make sure you go and check that out. And I'm also gonna be donating a portion of my fee for this collaboration to the Albert Kennedy Trust as well. So yeah, massive shout out to eBay, massive shout out to Albert Kennedy Trust, and massive shout out to you guys for watching and supporting as well. Please do give this video a like and a comment down below if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you are new to this channel, and I'll see you all very, very soon. See ya!